I was often told that I couldn't have children. So knowing that he came, he's just my miracle child, truly. And I treated him like he was a miracle and that he was loved every single day. The only thing that he ever said he wanted to be since he was a small child, a superhero. That's it. I knew that he was a gift. And that is why he was so exposed to so many things because I have seen the world. I just took my time to see it again through his eyes. Yeah, that's my dude. Shout out to my family. Love you, mama. I love you, daddy. Nah. It really is speaking to the love of my husband and I. I saw him on one day. Seven days later, I saw him again. Seven being the number of completion, seven uh, being the God's perfect number. But more than anything that I raised him on was, how many times do you forgive your enemy? It's seven times 70. Tammy Charles and her son Seven are where we're starting this story. What we originally thought was an isolated incident in a suburban Louisville school district ended up being about so much more. According to the Department of Education, 37% of black kids say that they've been bullied over race, the way they talk, or even a disability. And Seven is one of those kids. We backed up his entire story through videos, school records, and police reports. This is what happened to Seven. The very first thing, a little girl called him a nigger on the bus. And then, fast forward to next week, he's on the bus and the little girl says, um, well, you know that nigger can't fight. He gets off the bus, runs to his dad and says, Daddy, I got choked on the bus, but don't be mad because I think he has a mental problem. kid put him in a headlock to the point where students on the bus were screaming for the bus driver to stop. The bus had to be pulled over. What is the district policy involving physical contact? We individualize cases. Um, we have the people in place with our bullying prevention team that can review um, complaints or concerns from families and they work with our schools to resolve those matters. Children are safe in Jefferson County Public Schools. There have been reviews in the past um, for how um, investigations were looked at, and we have done different things to address that and make sure that everything is looked at through a, a, a very thorough lens. I tell parents all the time, don't put your child in that position. So if they're complaining about it, go up to that school and demand that that school do something. I looked to the principal kind of like an overhead, like, did you get my message? And she just gave me this, it's been taken care of. I was at his school average twice a week for lunch. I volunteered for everything. It broke down the false security that I had that I am this involved, they see me this much. And for that, maybe my kid would have some sort of exception I know that I can get it out of my mind and, and tomorrow's like a better day so I can still make friends with him. 77 days of the first time my son was bullied to the day he died. 77 days in between there. This is why my son is dead. I said, well, what did the teacher say? And he said, well, I want you to tell her to stop. And she said, well, how can I help her if your mom has called the principal and the principal's talked to her mom and if your mom can't do it and the principal can't do it, what makes you think that I, that I can stop her? And besides seven, nobody likes a tattletale. He died of being bullied to death. Wow, my kid. There's this idea when you're young, developmentally, you may not understand the permanency of suicide. I don't think sometimes that kids understand there's no coming back from that. This is much younger children. People always say black 
people don't do that? Yes. Here's a picture. I do think black parents in particular, we try to educate our kids about what it means to be black and how people are going to engage you in the world. I don't know that we're able to give them the full extent and teach them to the full degree of what those struggles are gonna be like. What parent expects to have to have a race conversation with a child and the child is five, six years old? I never took the time to teach my son about racial differences, racial inequalities. I never did that because he was 10. I want this little boy to be a little boy. <laughs> Come on, seven. I went downstairs because he was so funny. He was such a jokester. And then, because at this point, I'm mad, like, boy, where you hiding at, you know? So, something said, look over my shoulder in his room. And there my baby was. But it's back to me. I grab him around his waist and I say, boy, why would you do this? And I remember saying out loud, God, why my son? Why my son? And I heard, just as clear as I'm talking to you, a very nonchalantly put, I gave my son. I promise you, the words that I heard. He was my special child. Everybody's a woulda, coulda, shoulda until it happens to you. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Wish I woulda, shoulda, coulda had my son. Young male child measuring approximately 46 inches tall and appearing the stated age of seven years. When we say suicide doesn't discriminate, we mean that no one is immune from suicidal ideation, attempts, or even death. I would do anything to have my son back, but Lord knows it's not gonna happen.